Hello, sweeties. One of the most exciting announcements for me at Ignite was open mirroring, a set of APIs that allowed you to build your own mirroring solution. So I was wondering, how difficult would it be? So I gave it a go, and now we have Excel mirroring in Fabric. So let's jump over to a demo. Right, to start the demo, what I need to do is move this Excel document into a special folder that is set up for mirroring and now I'll open that Excel document and because I'm a technical person I store all my secrets and all my details in Excel um, this is a list of my friends um, that I have all right not very many but you know we can always improve on it so if I look at the mirror database here which I created earlier you'll see that it is running at the landing zone. That's where it's going to copy all the files. And as soon as I hit refresh on here, I can see there's a new table called Demo Friends, which Demo is the name of the Excel spreadsheet and Friends is the name of the tab. And if I hit refresh again, we'll go across and we'll just go to the SQL endpoint and we will see if there's any data in there. A bit bigger. So I can see I've got one friend, Percy, is a dog in age 10. So great, so now that data from here is being mirrored across. Well, let's try and add, I mean, I missed a couple of friends off. So um, let's add in my cat, who's called Nimrod, um, who's a cat, it's about three. But also I think, um, and we can save that. And now that data will start to be replicated and mirrored up. But also I can do things like, well, we should probably put the number of legs. Um, let's say uh, we've got four four number of eyes i mean it's useful to know how many eyes your friends have so two two save that again and then when we hit refresh we'll see whether that's been oh, i'll change the query slightly and we'll bring back all the columns and then we run it we'll see whether it has replicated that data up Cool. So we can see now Nimrod has been added. That date. So the date. So some of the data has been replicated up. So we can see the type, age, but we haven't yet got the new column with eyes and legs. So let's add some um, Jeff, who is my imaginary friend. Um, I think he's about 90. I don't know how old he is exactly. Um, he's but less legs. And more tentacles, so he's got about seven of those and three eyes. But let's just say um, we made a mistake on number of eyes for Nimrod. So Nimrod's only got one eye. Let's save that. Now that data is being saved, being pushed up into Fabric, and being replicated. So let's see if that's come up yet. So we can see that just then it's brought in. Um, the new columns for legs and eyes. So not only is it replicating up the data, it's also replicating up new columns, but I can also bring in new sheets. So let's if I just create something really quickly like a date info sheet and I add a date column here and then I put in some sort of number and I then put in some, and we just, it's just, just, just very, very quick Excel stuff, 2005. Uh, two, zero, one, two, five. Let's all do its magic. Boom, boom, boom. One, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. And we'll do calc. And we'll just say this is the sum of this plus this. There we go.
So now we've not only going to add some more data, we're adding more columns, um, more tabs, and we should see that reflect over here. So I'm just going to check to see whether um, Jeff, my imaginary friend, has been brought across. Yeah, so we can see that Jeff is now there, but also the editing. So the fact that I dropped an eye on my cat, but that was a mistake. Let's set that back to be two again. So they're all my friends, that's fine. And we have this date info. So. And also if we go back to the mirror database, we can refresh and you'll see how many rows have been replicated across. And then when I hit refresh again, we should see the new date info table appear. Cool, and there it has with all this update. So let's go and see if it's reflected in the SQL endpoint. There we have there, and then we can do a select star from it. It's a bit finickety, come on. There we are, and all the calculations come through. Now, if I want to be really fancy, I could actually go to the semantic model, and I can actually go and create a Power BI report of this Excel data. Um, really simply so here they are so if i want to now create a power bi report i simply come up to here reporting get a new report yep and every time i change my data in my excel it will automatically be updated in the report Great. And that's how we can do mirroring from Excel into Fabric. Thank you.